Hi guys and welcome back to the World Entertainment. FTNB came out again with more stories after the live. We really hope she isn't lying this time, but I'm finding it hard to believe her again. And the fact that OTF.Lilu passed the lie detector makes it difficult, and she is using a child to fight her battles. This is what she wrote on her Instagram story. My hand was forced, making that live. I had no choice. My son was questioned with David on the phone, and my son got scared and denied everything. If I didn't issue an apology, he would have released the audio and manipulated the story even more. And I'm genuinely tired. I was begged into a corner. As soon as I got off live, my son came in my room because he peed in his pants, crying, saying he's so scared and confused. It's too much detail from both kids. When he passed his test, me and Wesley was put on the spot and my son lied. He lied because the man who... He's saying Taz Jim is on the phone after passing a test. This is not getting dropped and will remain to be fought in court. My son's nightmares are real. What Alex said she saw is real. The trauma my son deals with emotionally is real. And I still stand with the kid no matter what that nigga do. David was recording my son and I had no clue my son would get scared and take it back. This is a lot to deal with for my family. And I'm extremely sad that... I had to come on here and do this because I'm not dropping shit and I'm still going to work with the police. I will still stand and fight for my child. My son lying in the face of the person who's saying touched him is not far-fetched because that it had happened today. But to say that my son and baby Alex are both lying and my son can describe specific details, no. That's my last and final word, and a nigga is not going to sit here and keep playing with my life, and this is like it's a damn effing joke. Leave your thoughts below. Until next time, peace.